Hi everyone, Adish here. So today we're gonna see how we can uh, create a Spring Boot application and deploy it on the Elastic Beanstalk. So I'm gonna uh, use a Spring Boot uh, starter, which is uh, in a moment I'll show you. Start dot Spring dot IO, and uh, I'm gonna give my Input sample. I need only web dependency, so I'll just include the web dependency. I'll say generate project. It will generate a project for me. It will be there in my download folder once it's downloaded. So I'll say extract. Open with IntelliJ. I'm using IntelliJ 13. I'm a big fan of IntelliJ, so I prefer IntelliJ always to use. So it's very nice way, you know, to uh, create a project structure and slice everything and then start working on that. So IntelliJ takes time to start because my system is very slow. I'll get my Spring Boot starter. So what I'll do, I'll just create a controller here. So is work controller. So at the weight first controller. public map string comma string get this and I'll just create a simple other service so return new hash map string comma string So this is my simple just service. As, uh, request mapping. Also method request method dot get comma value so slash welcome that's it so I'll say I'll just open it and then clean package So, 
I'll start my server and then I'll just test it locally and then we'll deploy it on AWS Beanstalk. I'm gonna start on port number 8080 because I haven't added anything in application.properties file. So it will be nothing there. So it started on port number 8080. So I'll say localhost slash welcome. So I got my message here in the form of JSON response. So although I forget to add response body annotation, but then too it will because it's I have added here. That's the difference between controller and rest controller if i add rest control uh, if i add controller response body is mandatory but if i just add rest controller it will automatically assume that it has to render this response as a response body so let me go to elastic beanstalk let me log into my aws and i'll see whether we have a warg executable file here we have file sign into the console the last pin stop get started I'll see what is my application name let's go to com file I'll say spring boot example select I'll select the platform as Java upload your code I'll select my executable Java file which is created because of compilation the system is very slow sometimes it stops responding so I have to go into downloads spring boot example target this is what we have I'll see upload take some time because it will, it's uploading the complete file jar file into AWS S3 I guess now it is done I'll go into more configurations go into software configuration I'll say here port 8080 and I'll save so this is for nginx to forward the request to port 8080 and create app so what it basically does it will I'll just duplicate, I'll show you, it will create a EC2 instance in the background so if I show you here running instance I don't have anything but creating environment starting so once after some time once scripts are in the execution state it start executing so 
it will create a easy see this is the t2 dot t1 dot micro in us west availability zone initializing that public ip is this so it takes some time this couple of nuts and then we are good to go so what's the biggest advantage of elastic beanstalk is that uh, creating a instance and then doing the configuration installing the so platform like uh, java and then so web server or tomcat server like this installing the servers and all this headache is already taken up by the elastic beanstalk so everything will be abstracted and uh, for the end user we just directly you know need not to know all these configurations and all we just come and we'll do select the options do the click click and go and the environment is ready for us so that much so here it's in running state so here we can see once it's done so it will create uh, in nginx also for uh, load balancing and all and uh, once it's ready we'll get the url here see we got the url here custom url elastic means to say this open into the new it will say bad gateway i'll say welcome we'll get the error because so here's what we got the response welcome to the eSpark so this is what we got the response from elastic beanstalk the url which we got here by which was given to us by elastic beanstalk and this is a public url so where we have to add the service url with that and we have hit that and we got the response here so this is how we can do the deployment and if you see here uh, we have custom environment which is uh, created because of elastic beanstalk and all there are a lot of things so basically once i'll create a uh, videos on ec2 and uh, other things load balancer and all other things then i'm gonna explain all this stuff there but as of now this is this video is dedicated for how we can deploy the spring boot application on elastic beanstalk so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna destroy this instance so what i can do we'll just go into the elastic beanstalk here so it's in green state now so we'll say action we'll say delete application and i'm deleting the application i'll so this process takes time because it has to delete the instance and all so let's so it's still not deleting go into custom environment you can see a lot of uh, so elastic beans talk is terminating your environment so this is what we can see here we have configuration log health monitoring alarm and all these things we can do so this is was a configuration 64 bit amazon linux here running instances spring boot and all so here in our instance also we can see it should go into the terminate state now in the process of shutting down see this instance is shutting down now so if instance is shutting down if we try to hit this url we gonna get the 404 something or something which amazon has configured
outside cannot be reachable and because instance itself is down this response we are getting due to cache and all so this instance is terminated now here you can see clearly that instance state is terminated so amazon will pull this entry after some sometime so we are closing that tab now elastic bean stop terminating the environment events and all so uh, it takes time because it has internally it has to do lot of things there so here we can see logs and all so now its instance is terminated so this is how we can you know do the testing i hope uh, this will help you to understand the concept please uh, uh share your thoughts comments and do subscribe my channel and uh, i'll come up with something new and interesting one till then take care bye everyone